Hello, beautiful family. So Stephen here. I think it's, I think it's the tenth, the tenth of August in the year two thousand twenty-four. I've got my speaker ready and Bibles, gospel tracks. Hello. So I'm in this new Starbucks cafe in Scarborough, having a coffee. Now I go to the toilet. I'm, I'm out on my own, unfortunately, because Brother Rob, he, he has to drive from Manchester, and uh, I, only had, I only had enough money to, to get to York, and it's a long drive for him, so I think that's why he, he's op opted out a bit today. Um, probably, that's the, probably the reason, but yeah. I might appear alone, yet yeah, I'm not alone. The armies of armies of heaven are with me. The Lord Jesus Christ is with me. I'm not ashamed of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, because it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believes. In the last days there shall be many mockers and scoffers, mocking and scoffing. And when he just walked into town and got a lot of that already, just carrying those gods. Well, count it all joy, count it all joy. And uh, don't worry about that. Don't worry what people think, and I'm preaching to myself as well. Never mind what they think, this world's about to be turned upside down. You know what gonna get a still, we're gonna get a shock. You know we're gonna get a rude, rude awakening. They really are. It's just prophecy. They're fulfilling Bible prophecy. It doesn't matter. We don't take offense, you know. We just bless them, bless them. And I've set my face like flint. I will not sin against the Lord. I hope you can hear me all right. So, family, um, yeah, this is the new Starbucks opposite McDonald's. And um, yeah, I'm about to have this coffee and preach. And as usual, I'm coming on here asking you guys if you would all pray for me, please. Because, um, especially as I'm on my own. Yeah, that's, like I say, I'm not on my own. I will never leave thee, I'll never forsake thee, saith the Lord, which have mercy on me. So, as the heavens are far above the earth, and so high is his mercy towards them that fear him, who reverence him, who love him. Um, but nothing, Romans 8, 28 is it? Uh, no, I might be wrong there. Uh, well, God causes all things to work together for good for those that love Him, who have a call according to His purpose. And I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, I can't remember, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall ever be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. So, please pray for me, family. I really do covet your prayers. I desire your prayers, please. Um, that I might snatch a few from the flames and onto the ark before it sets off. Because I've got this question to ask you guys. Do, do you wake up in the morning utterly exhausted and, and without any strength? So I almost every morning I wake up feeling like that. I think it's not normal, you know. How can how can I feel so? I woke up this morning, quarter to seven, to go to the toilet, and I literally felt like I'd, I'd been asleep for about a minute, you know, say ten minutes, woken up. And I thought, oh no, ten to seven. <laughs> anyway, I didn't feel like I've been to sleep, but. Anyway, I got, I got about six, seven hours. That's all right. So, all right then, family. Please pray. Thank you. As the Holy Spirit guides you, uh, that the gospel has free course. That I am delivered from wicked and unreasonable men. That, moreover, that people would listen, wake up to what time it is. The time of the end, of the end of the final end. And it is. So, um, I'm expecting a lot, and I would be expecting it now if I was you. Now, because uh, 
surely he comes quickly. All right, I'm just going to upload this, family. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you all. Thank you for your prayers. I, I love you all, family. And uh, what was I going to say? Um, thank you for you who, who donate to the uh, GoFundMe. That's in the description box. And if you're not saved, if you haven't believed on Jesus Christ, there's a, in the description box the scriptures to show you how simple it is and God will accept you no matter who you are, no matter what you've done. Christ Jesus will never turn anyone away, no matter how, how stained you are with sin. Um, Jesus will forgive your sin and welcome you with open arms on one condition that you believe on him. Believe the gospel that he died for all our sins on that cross and that he was buried and that he rose again from the dead. Believe that in your heart truly. Be humble. Acknowledge you can go, yeah, of course I've sinned. And then, then believe on him and he will accept you and not turn you away. And you may not be delivered straight away from every single problem. Maybe you've got some addiction or something like that. It might take you a whole lifetime to, to get over certain things. Um, but at least you're saved. That's the main thing. And that's what God has wants me to do, is just lead them to the cross. That's all he wants me to do. Not disciple people or anything like that. Just preach the gospel. So, all right, family, I love you all. Uh, see you in the clouds. Uh, at any moment. Maybe even this weekend.